Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wonder World. Today, I'm going to talk about a fascinating topic. Why do bees die after stinging? Have you ever wondered why bees are the only insects that die after stinging a human? What causes this to happen, and what benefit does it have for the bees? Let's find out in this video. But before we start, I have a question for you. Do you know how many times a bee can sting you? Is it once, twice, or more? Leave your answer in the comments below, and I'll reveal the correct answer at the end of the video. First, let's talk about the reason why bees die after stinging. A bee's stinger is made of two barbed lancets. When the bee stings, it can't retract its stinger and go merrily on its way. When a bee stings a human, its stinger, along with a part of its digestive tract, muscles, and nerves is ripped from its body and remains in the human skin. This causes the bee to die from a massive abdominal rupture. How can this disemboweling be beneficial to the bee? Well, it's not beneficial to the individual bee, but it helps protect the hive. That's because the bee sting keeps attacking you, and with any luck, keeping you away from the hive after the bee is dead. First, the barbed shafts move back and forth, digging deeper into your skin. Then, the muscular valves pump toxins from an attached venom sac and deliver it to the wound. This continues for several minutes even after the bee is dead and gone. It's a sad end to the bee, and not fun for you either, but it does make sense from an evolutionary perspective. Because the worker bees that defend the hive don't reproduce, the only way they can ensure their genes are passed on is by protecting the hive and their reproductive relatives inside. Sting Area Next, let's talk about why the sting area turns red when you get stung by a bee. The redness is caused by inflammation, which is your body's natural response to injury or infection. When a bee stings you, it injects venom into your skin. The venom contains various substances that trigger inflammation, such as histamine, melatonin, and phospholipase A2. These substances cause blood vessels to dilate, increase blood flow, and leak fluid into the surrounding tissue. This results in swelling, heat, pain, and redness in the sting area. The inflammation helps your body to fight off the venom and heal the wound. However, sometimes the inflammation can be excessive and cause more harm than good. For example, if you are allergic to bee venom, you may experience a severe inflammatory reaction that affects your whole body, such as anaphylaxis. This can be life-threatening and requires immediate medical attention. Stingless bee. Let's talk about the bees that don't have stingers and how they defend themselves. Not all bees have stingers, and not all bees that have stingers use them for defense. For example, male bees of all species don't have stingers because they don't need them for reproduction or protection. Some female bees, such as leafcutter bees and mason bees, have stingers, but they rarely use them because they are solitary and don't have a hive to defend. These bees rely on other methods to protect themselves and their offspring, such as camouflage, nesting in hidden places, or using plant materials to seal their nests. Some bees, such as stingless bees, have lost their stingers completely because they live in tropical regions where predators are less likely to attack them. These bees use other weapons to defend themselves, such as biting, spraying acid, or swarming. Plan of Attack Next, let's talk about the plan of attack, how bees decide when and how to sting. Bees don't sting randomly or for fun. They sting only when they feel threatened or provoked. Bees use various signals to communicate with each other and coordinate their defense. One of the most important signals is the alarm pheromone, which is a chemical substance that bees release from their stinger or mandibular glands when they sting or are attacked. The alarm pheromone smells like bananas and alerts other bees to join the fight. The alarm pheromone can also attract other types of bees, such as wasps and hornets, that may take advantage of the situation and raid the hive. Bees also use visual cues, such as body movements, to signal their intentions and warn their enemies. For example, bees may perform a waggle dance to indicate the direction and distance of a threat 
or a head-butting behavior to deter an intruder. Bees also use sound to communicate and intimidate. For example, bees may buzz loudly to show their aggression or make a piping sound to signal an imminent attack. Killer bees. Now let's talk about the killer bees. What are they and why are they so dangerous? Killer bees, also known as Africanized honeybees, are a hybrid of European honeybees and African honeybees that were accidentally created in Brazil in the 1950s. These bees are more aggressive, defensive, and adaptive than the European honeybees and have spread throughout the Americas. Killer bees attack in large numbers and chase their victims for long distances. They can sting multiple times and inject more venom than the European honeybees. They can also sense the alarm pheromone of other bees and join the attack, even if they are not from the same hive. Killer bees are responsible for hundreds of human and animal deaths every year, especially in South and Central America. Wasps. Then, let's talk about the wasps. How are they different from bees and why are they so annoying? Wasps are a group of insects that belong to the same order as bees but are not closely related to them. Wasps have a slender body, a narrow waist, and a smooth stinger that can be used repeatedly. Wasps are predators that feed on other insects, such as caterpillars, spiders, and flies. They also scavenge on human food such as meat, fruits, and sweets. Wasps are more aggressive and territorial than bees and will sting without provocation. They can also release an alarm pheromone that attracts other wasps to join the attack. Many people consider wasps pests because they can ruin picnics, damage crops, and cause painful stings. However, wasps also have some benefits, such as pollinating flowers, controlling pest populations, and producing useful substances like paper and silk. Hornets. Next, let's talk about the hornets. What are they, and why are they so scary? Hornets are a type of wasp that are larger, stronger, and more venomous than the common wasps. Hornets have a distinctive yellow and black pattern on their body and a powerful stinger that can penetrate clothing and skin. Hornets are social insects that live in colonies and build nests out of chewed wood pulp. They feed on other insects, such as bees, flies, and beetles, and also on plant sap and fruits. Hornets are very aggressive and defensive and will attack anyone or anything that disturbs their nest or territory. They can sting multiple times and inject a large amount of venom that can cause severe pain, swelling, and allergic reactions. They can also release an alarm pheromone that attracts other hornets to join the attack. Elephant enemies. Finally, let's talk about the elephant enemies. What are they, and why are they afraid of bees? Elephant enemies are a group of animals that prey on or compete with elephants, such as lions, hyenas, crocodiles, and humans. These animals can threaten the elephant's survival, especially the young, old, or injured ones. Elephants can usually defend themselves with their size, strength, tusks, and trunks but sometimes they must flee or hide from their enemies. One of the most surprising enemies of elephants is bees. Bees are tiny insects that can hardly harm an elephant's thick skin, but they can cause a lot of pain and irritation to the elephant's eyes, ears, mouth, and trunk. Elephants are so afraid of bees that they have developed a special sound to warn each other of their presence. This sound is called a bee rumble and it is a low-frequency vocalization that can travel long distances and alert other elephants to run away from the bees. Elephants can also recognize the sound of buzzing bees and react accordingly. Elephants are not only afraid of bees, but they also respect them. Elephants avoid damaging trees that have beehives, and they also use bees as a natural repellent against their enemies. For example, some farmers in Africa have used beehive fences to protect their crops from elephants, and some researchers have suggested using bee sounds to deter poachers from killing elephants. And now, 
The moment you've been waiting for the answer to the question I asked you at the beginning of the video. Do you know how many times a bee can sting you? Is it once, twice, or more? The answer is that it depends on the type of bee. As we learned, honeybees can only sting you once because their stinger gets stuck in your skin and they die after stinging. However, other types of bees, such as bumblebees, carpenter bees, and stingless bees, can sting you multiple times because their stinger is smooth and can be pulled out. So the next time you encounter a bee, be careful and respectful and try to avoid getting stung. And if you do get stung, don't panic and follow these steps to treat the sting. Remove the stinger as soon as possible by scraping it off with your fingernail, a credit card, or a blunt knife. Don't use tweezers or squeeze the stinger because this can push more venom into your skin. Wash the sting area with soap and water and apply a cold compress or ice pack to reduce the swelling and pain. Apply an antihistamine cream or a hydrocortisone cream to the sting area to relieve the itching and redness. If you have a severe allergic reaction, such as difficulty breathing, swelling of the face or throat, nausea, vomiting, or fainting, call 911 or seek emergency medical attention immediately. You may need an injection of epinephrine or adrenaline to save your life. That's all for today's video. I hope you found it interesting and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of my new videos. I upload new videos every week on various topics related to nature, science, and animals. Thank you for your support and see you soon. Bye.